Hey everybody, it's Mr. Wheeler, and we are going to talk about sentences today. I've been asking my students to write their answers in complete sentences. So what does that mean? Basically, a sentence is comprised of two things. You have your subject of the sentence, and you have your predicate of the sentence. And the easiest way to frame this in your head is that a subject is the thing that is doing the action or causing the action, and the predicate is the action and all the associated baggage that comes with the action. So the subject is really the simplest, most straightforward part of the sentence, because the subject is telling you who or what is doing something. Or basically, you can think about it as, what is the sentence about? Who is the sentence about? That's the subject. And of course, the subject can come in two forms, like a simple subject. And a simple subject will be something like, uh, Pete walked the dog down the road. So our subject here would be Pete, because he is the one doing the action. You can also use pronouns like he walked the dog down the road or she walked the dog down the road. It's really the same kind of idea. But you can also have complete subjects where it's more than one word. So for example, if Pete had a girlfriend named Sally and they were both walking the dog down the road, you would say Pete and Sally walked the dog down the road. So then Pete and Sally is going to be the complete subject. And that's what the sentence is about. Pete and Sally are doing something. What are they doing? Predicate, walking the dog down the road. Now, of course, sentences can get really tricksy. So we'll talk, of course, more about this throughout the school year. But at this point, basically, all we're thinking about is what is the subject of the sentence? Because if you don't have a subject in your sentence, don't have a sentence. If I said, walked his dog down the road, who's that his relating to? Or just walk the dog down the road? Who or what walked the dog down the road? So you need to have a subject to make a complete sentence. That's what we're focusing on right now, ladies and gentlemen. We'll continue this discussion ever more in the future.